Science Half, I am back again and today I am going to review this nail polish from Born Pretty. This is Myriad Star. It is from their Hollow 3D Magnetic uh, Star River series. There are other colours in this series, not just this one. This is almost a black holographic. Um, there's a lot of holographic in it. <laughs> it is like super pretty. Um, and it is magnetic, and um, I don't know how well you're going to see this, but I will, if I stick a magnet near the bottle, you sort of see a line develop from where the magnet came near it. Um, this is a Born Pretty magnet, in case you're wondering. So you can sort of see the magnetic particles moving around could amuse myself all day with that. Um, this requires a black base, so I have black polish on my nails. It's actually uh, BYS's black satin. Um, it is a one coat black polish. It's quite thick. <laughs> it's old, um, but it is my favourite black polish. Um, so I am going to try this out and review it for you guys today. I've never put this on my nails other than one coat to make myself remember that I needed a black base. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's get into it. So we'll take a look at the brush first. It's a fairly standard sized brush. It is, the handle is actually quite short. It has short hands, so it's not really a problem. Um, make sure I'm in frame properly. So I'm going to do one coat, let that dry, and then do the coat and put the magnet over it. Yeah, it comes up very green over the black. I don't know how well you guys will be able to see that. As with a lot of holographic type polishes, it's probably going to look more holographic when it dries than it does when it goes on wet, particularly as there appears to be a linear holographic in this apart from a scattered holographic. Linear holographics increase their um, obviousness as the polish dries. Um, whereas a scattered is like obvious all the time. So I'm just going to give that a bit to dry and then I will be back. The thing to remember when using a magnetic polish is that when you go to use the magnet on it, you need to do it as soon as you put the nail polish on. You don't put the nail polish on all your fingernails and then go back and use the magnet, otherwise it won't work properly. So I have my Born Pretty magnet here. It has a big fat end on it and it has a round end. I will try both of them just to see how they go. It's a, quite a strong magnet. Um, so let's go here. Take the magnet, let's hold it over the top of the fingernail, wait for a few seconds to let the particles move around um, and then sort of solidify in their position. And oh I can see it a little bit. It's um kind of hard to see. It's more to the side of this nail. But it's definitely there and it makes it more purple looking rather than green. Well at least to my eye. Um, I also can't see very well in my monitor so because of light and stuff. <laughs> so, alright, we'll do the next fingernail. It goes on really beautifully. It's really easy to control. It's a really nice formula. I'm going to use the little one on this fingernail. It's 
kind of cool. Next finger. That's really cool effect. And the pointer finger. I'm going to use a different magnet on the pointer finger. Uh, it's also a born pretty one, but it does a different shape. Just to see what that does. That's cool. I don't know how much you guys can see, but that's, that's kind of cool. Um, and I just wanted to show you, um, on my thumbnail, I currently have one coat with no black base, just so you can get an idea of um, the reason you need a black base. These polishes are usually very sheer, um, and the black base allows all of the different, particularly the holographic aspect of the nail polish to like really come to the fore, um, which doesn't really happen when there's no black base. I mean, it happens a little bit, but you could probably build this up in three coats without the black base and you know it still does the magnetic thing you could put it over a different colored base like a green or even a light colored base but you will get the best possible effect by using a dark base like a black or a navy blue and it still looks cool um, I don't have quite as much polish at the end of my nail but um, yeah it's it's a really cool effect and it is very much, it shows up, um, I don't know how well it is showing in the camera obviously, um, but it does show the purple and the green at different angles and you get areas where it looks like really smooth where the magnetic effect is. And it just makes the nails look super duper interesting. There's like so much going on. Um, and you know, teal to purple is like my favorite color combination. I have multiple polishes that are kind of like this. Um, and for the cost, um, I will put that on the screen. These Born Pretty ones are really good value for money. Um, I, I will leave you a direct link to this particular series of polishes. Um, I also have a code which is HAFX31, which also will I will put down below. Um, you can use it to get 10% off full priced items at Born Pretty. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on stuff that's already discounted, but. It will work on full priced items, so you can save a little bit of money. You don't have to use it. I don't really gain anything from it, um, but you might. So, yeah, uh, if you want to subscribe, click the button down below. Leave me a thumbs up if you like review type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.